Rebecca French. I'm an Australian girl. I live in Melbourne. I was missing the true sense of my purpose. I was coming out of a 20 year career that had left me sad and injured and kind of alone and abandoned, I guess, as well, and not really knowing what to do next, despite having a whole bunch of ideas and knowing that I'm here to make a difference in the world and to guide people and work with people and help them along their way to healing and becoming their best selves. But other than using skills and training that I have, like neurolinguistic programming and hypnosis, I didn't know how to bring my experience to that or the best way to reach as many people as possible. Um, and I certainly didn't really feel like I could speak as openly and loudly as I, I know I need to in order to get this um, message out there. Who doesn't want to be a giant? It's a catchy, it's a catchy title, um, you know. The the Facebook group that I've been a part of for ages, I guess. Um, I've never felt so much community and love and support for people doing what they do. And when Nick opened up his diary just for a have an hour session with me. Um, the only reason I saw that post that day was because of exactly where I was at that time. And I, I almost didn't do it because I was like, well, why would he want to speak to me? But then I scheduled that call for a couple of weeks away and that was before I even knew the program was coming. So I had that call booked in and then the, um, the promo for the program was released and I was like, whoa, this is right where I need to be because as much as I am chaos and disorder and fly by the seat of my pants, I need systems and I need processes and I need to understand every step of the way. And, and this program, you know, knowing right from the start that it was 12, there was 12 you know, steps, there was 12 journeys, there was ways to get through everything with a process. So it really felt like I could bring a process to my ad hoc um, capacity. And then after that chat with Nick, um, the things that had happened on the exact days that all these things were happening, there was just a whole bunch of stuff that went, you've got to, you have to jump in on this because now is the right time. So it was the right process, the right time and the right person because I'd seen a lot of the work Nick had done and what he does um, just in general in, in the tribe. So it wasn't really that much of a decision in the end, although it terrified me. It's really hard to articulate exactly what that is because so much of it is a feeling and it's almost like I've stepped from one set of train tracks onto another. So the, the process of having and learning a process to dig into some of the things that come up has allowed this sense of, of real Base in my body. And this is coming from someone who's done years of psychology and psychiatry and, and other life coaching. And in, you know, in, an, in 90 minutes for each journey to feel a part of my body that was hanging on to things so tightly and just wouldn't let it go for that to just actually start to move like a, a solid hard sponge just gradually being rehydrated so that you know it, it can identify it can fill my space it, it can I can feel it through my body and then I can make those choices because now I've got 
an understanding of what to do with them and I can make those choices to lift those things out, to wash them away, to store them properly even. Um, there's a lot of things that will teach you you've got to rehash it and get rid of it, whereas for me this felt a lot more like I don't have to rehash it. I can have a good look at it and, and store it away. And Nick has beautiful stories about bears and fields and, and all kinds of things. And you'll love that about the program, the way he brings these visualizations to how you feel and see your emotions in the world. So there's not, there's not one thing. And I think if you were to come into this program hoping to solve one thing, you might miss the point. So I would suggest you know you've got a lot of stuff to work with and there's obviously a list of priorities or the list of things that are the most important to you to try and resolve, but this is something that you can put across to all of the human experience, not just the thing you think um, needs attention because Nick will find, well, no, you will find that the way Nick speaks will dig out stuff that you'd forgotten about. So there's, there's no doubt that you leave this program on another level or two at least. I guess we can, we can announce that I've had probably six out of the last 12, 10 or 12 nights where I've slept really well. I actually feel like I'm going to bed knowing that I'll get up in the morning and my purpose is to get up in the morning. And the course of the last sort of five, six months of my life, I haven't always felt that there was much of a purpose for tomorrow, but I just get up and do it anyway. So now that I've got this understanding of and this okayness about what has happened and the experiences I've had and, and you know, some of the stuff that I worked through during this program, I didn't know or hadn't happened to me yet. And so as these experiences were happening and as I was being re-exposed to, to trauma and re-exposed to these horrible scenarios that suddenly each week I was learning what I needed to know for next week when these experiences were coming to me. So it's really clearly defined that I knew I was here for a reason and now I know I am. I, I know that what I've got in the pipeline and what I'm developing is 50 times bigger than what it was prior to this. I just wanted to do a few um, Facebook lives and, you know, maybe just talk to some people. And there was always this vague concept of a stadium, but it is, it is so real now. And I know that what I've got is, is coming and it's coming like a freight train. And I know that when I go to sleep. And so now I'm actually sleeping. There's no craziness um, happening. I, I feel taller somehow. I feel lighter. Um, and I think knowing that even though our 12 weeks is over, that I can pick up the phone and say, Nick, I, I need you. I need something. Or I can go back through the tribe and go, what do I do now? And that support will just be there. I finished programs in the past and really felt like, okay, we're done now. And that the facilitators and the crew aren't really going to be there. But there was no doubt from day one that this was a 12-week process with a lifetime of backup, I guess. And the beautiful thing is that I know that I have the answers and I know they're in here. But Nick has a really unique way of digging those out and making sense of what I can't make sense of. And I wouldn't be without that now.
What makes Nick stand apart? He's normal. On the scale of one to guru, he's not frightening. He's not terrifying. He's not perfect. And having experienced people in the past who hold themselves so together for the duration of their, their programs or everything they do and say, I find that really hard to relate to because I'm a bit of a hot mess most of the time. So knowing that Nick comes from a background of just being a regular guy, you know, he wasn't handed everything on a plate. He's worked for everything he's got. There's been, you know, admissions of, of struggle and fault and blame and all of that stuff. And it's relatable. So someone teaching you or, and guiding you through a way to live who has had to develop that from the way he's managed to live his own life is really what makes the difference. And he doesn't hide that. Um, there's no look at me, my life's amazing. If you do what I tell you to do, you'll be just like me. If there's, and he's not trying to create mini Nicks. He's just really bringing out in the individual person. So he's really bringing out in me who I am and who I can be and the way that I can do that. And I, I don't feel like I'm being molded into these little versions of, you know, minions or something like that. So while it's a it's a program that anyone can access and everyone can do we don't graduate the same we all graduate as these beautiful versions of exactly who we are and i think that's really what makes it different and nick different is he's not creating mini nicks he's creating better rebecca's or better joe's or, or better leanne's for example